small house over, buddy. He's V-Man 1313 in the woods. And yeah, here's our new little baby. Um, We've had her now for a couple weeks. I haven't done a review or anything yet. So this video might be a little bit funky. I just come out with the other ones. But um, today we're going to try something new. We have not put gas. We've had her for a couple weeks now. A few hundred miles. A couple hundred miles. She's been to work almost every single day since we got her. And um, today our goal is to run the electricity completely out so we can run the gas motor completely out. And we want to um, put fresh gas in her. As of right now, got 38 miles left on electricity, 50 on gas. So we want to see if we can run that gas out since we don't know when. Um, we don't know when that gas was put in and yeah so we got some errands to run some things to do so let's see what's gonna happen today we're gonna I got the air already running to see if I can kill the battery <laughs> so we'll see this is a 2014 BMW i3 20,000 miles when we got her let's see what happens today you ready for experiment yeah, yeah. Oh, big money over there. Big money. She gonna buy me something. Yeah. All right. So continuing our little experiment of trying to run the electricity out and running all the gas out, so that way we could get some fresh gas in there. Since we don't know how long the gas has been sitting, we're at 10 miles left of electricity, and as you can see, the battery's at a 14 percent. According to what I read, I want to say it's 6%. That's when it's going to shut off, shut off and then cut into the uh, gas motor or gas generator. It's not really a motor since it's generating electricity. It's not really running the, the tires. So we shall see. But I believe we're probably going to get to one of our places we're going to stop at before we even make it there. So, But just keeping you there. Oh, nine miles. Mm. All right. We'll keep you posted. All right, we are at 6.5 percent. Should be kicking on pretty soon. All right, no miles left. I'll put up your window if you don't want. See if we hear it kick on. There it is. It went to this. What? It lit up here. The gas lit up? Yeah, that's why that's out. That's on. Ah. See, the Wiz is the, the, Wiz is the smart one in this little powwow here. It's, it's loud. It's loud. Hold on, let's <laughs> throw that window and see if it's loud. Okay, I'm going to reach out when we stop. When we stop? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're on gas now. Let's see if we can run this gas out. How crazy is that stuff? Pretty cool. You can't really hear it when you're driving. You hear that little doo -doo 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 -doo. When we stopped, it's kind of loud, considering the thing is so quiet for so long. It is loud. All right, we're down to eight miles, and it's all turned yellow and crazy stuff. So, telling me no gas, no electricity, you're about to run out. So, eight miles left, but we're gonna take it down under five. See if we can burn out as much gas as we can. Although, now that I say that, let's see if it guns it. Oh yeah, it still goes. Still goes. Although, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, oh, she's scared. These things have that 2.4 gallon gas tank. Yeah. And we're trying to run out the gas, but there's still going to be half a gallon of gas left in there no matter what we do. 
great job, BMW. All right, we'll take it down as far as we can, just to do what we can. All right. Well, there's a Walgreens though to play the lap at. <laughs> All right, we're down to one mile. Good. Good. Don't forget it's right here. Oh yeah, thank you. So we're down to one mile. Actually, we're down to zero miles, according to this now. Let's go to Shell. We're gonna fill up now. Where's it at? I'm here. This side. If she knows where it's at, I don't know. An electric car is going to the gas station. Whoop, on the front. All right, zero miles. Park. I don't really know how far we've been today, though. That's the thing, but that's cool. Now we're gonna fill her up. Apparently we can't open the gas thing. There's some kind of funny thing that has to do. Alright, so we couldn't open it. We looked on the internet. We um we found that my debit card. Yeah. We found that if you pulled on this, it was like a release since the door wouldn't open. And it opened. Thank goodness. <laughs> we weren't. We're dead on charge. We're dead on, and that might be it. It's dead on charge too. So, we'll put the Mac Daddy in. Yeah. Yeah. One point eight. Well, that's about right. One point nine. That's how much it was supposed to be. We ran it dry. So, all right. So now, after our gas station fiascos, we're gonna try DC fast charger, and I think it's that one. Yep. Communicating with your vehicle. Start. Keep your RFD card or tag in front of the reader. Huh? I don't know where the reader is. There it is. It said keep it in front. Verifying. You're allowed to start charging. All right. Preparing to charge. Setting up communication with the car. These are cheaters. Mm-hmm. There's another one over there, the white one. The white one's a nice one. Charging error, the charge detected an internal problem. Yep, so this one's messed up. So we can't charge. So we can go home. But the card worked. Right? And that's why electric cars are not mainstream. Ta -da. This one doesn't work. Pretty cool, but it worked. All right, 
that's our that's our fiasco for today. It just has an error on it. Well, I'm trying to make sure that. All right, and that's the reason <laughs> why you don't trust them. People don't trust the electric cars, and it's not the car itself. The car itself is wonderful, but the facilities and all that good stuff, they're not ready. It's not ready. It's not ready for mainstream stuff. And that, I mean, that's our first time. It's not like we've done this now a thousand times and every time we go, it's messed up. But just saying. It's, um... It'd be scary to try to drive to, let's say, Florida on just charging. And you come up to one with, you know, 10 miles left of charges and you can't do anything about it and you're stuck, you're screwed. So yeah, that's that's the scoop. We had our gasoline fiasco, we had our electricity fiasco. Now we go home. <laughs> Bye.